All right, boys and girls, hope you enjoyed the Easter story and were able to work on your booklet uh, where you had to color and cut and then assemble the book uh, about Jesus and the tomb being empty. Jesus rose again. All right, so now we're going on working on our reader. Now, uh, this is still book three. Uh, this is going to be the last day we read it through together because next time uh, we're going to be able to look at book four. I know you, Ooh. sorry, boys and girls, it's over here. This book, um, this reader is your new reader and it went home in the packet that you picked up on Friday, but we are finishing up this reader. All right. If you've already read through that other reader, that is awesome. But I want to read through this one with you today. All right. So remember, it's the blue I do read. It's still book three. I know you've already got your name on there and you've probably read this several times. Hopefully read it out loud. Uh, hopefully practice reading in your head. And today we're going to start on page 12. All right, on page 12. And we're looking at a delicious cake there, probably making us all a little hungry uh, eat, looking at that. We're going to read a couple of names in here. And we'll find out the name of our girl in her story. And you probably already know that if you've read it through. But let's see what it is. The title, Did Kim Eat? It. And there's a question mark in the title, boys and girls. Do you see that? Remember, question. They're asking us something. Did Kim eat it? Don't forget that word eat. Sometimes that tricks us if we're not looking. The two vowels are right at the front. So it is a long E word. Silent A. All right. And so we know the girl in the pink shirt is named what, boys and girls? Kim. Everybody say hi, Kim. Yeah. Delicious looking cake. Let's see what it says in our story. Jane made a pie. Okay, so it looks like something might have been there. Kim ate it. Kim did not feel well. Jane made a cake. Did Kim eat the cake? It's a question. Kim did not take a bite. All right. If you kind of look at her face there, boys and girls, she might have eaten a little too much. All right, so we know there was two girls. We already said hi to Kim. Jane was not in our story. We didn't see a picture of her. But what did she make first that we did not see here? Do you remember? It was a pie. First, there was a pie. And I know you know the answer to this. Who ate it? Yes, our friend Kim ate that, didn't she? All right. And what else did Jane make? We see it right here, don't we, boys and girls? She also made this cake. All right. So we saw question mark there in the title. I want you to also notice we had eight on here. We've had this again on here before. That is A-T-E, long A, magic E, when we, eat, we ate breakfast. It's not the number word. That number word, eight, is a tricky word. All right. So hopefully you're reading through that using your pointer as we read. Now, on page 13, it's just our blends that we've talked about, but they also put the vowels at the end. If you notice, they took st, that S-T, st, 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 we see it at the beginning and we see it at the end, and they added a vowel, st, a, st, e, st, i, st, a, st, a. Were those short or long vowels, boys and girls? That was the short vowel sound that I did. A, e, e, a, a. All right. And then they just went ahead and made a word. You can read those with me. Are you ready? St, ack. St, ep. St, ick. St, op. St, Stump, stump, the bottom of a tree when it cut off, that's called the stump. 
all right? And then they did the same thing, only in, instead of ST, they did BL, blah, blah. And again, a, a, I, a, a at the end. So it would be blah, 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 blah. I bet you have a lot of fun saying those. Try to say those super fast, boys and girls. That almost gets to be a tongue twister. And then they took those over and made words. This is a color word. You guys already know this one. Black. Bless. Blimp. Block. Bluff. All right. So I'm sure you read through those much faster. Nice job. All right. We're going to read the last two pages. It's one story. It goes on each page. So I'm going to fold my book so that we can look at this side. You guys know what those are. Those are colorful what? Blocks. Those are blocks. And it's even the title of our story called The Blocks. And we just had that B-L-O, blah, over here. All right? Block. So make sure you notice that. We're going to find out the name of the girls on this side. Here we go. Deb has five blocks. There's a number word five, and we can sound that one out. Joan has five blocks. It's like a math problem in our reader. Five blocks plus five blocks makes, how many is that, boys and girls? Ten blocks. I bet you knew that. So fast in your brain, five plus five. That's a math problem. They use words instead of numbers. Good job. All right. Deb and Joan will stack the blocks. There's that S-T-A, sta we had on the other page. Set the red block on top, Deb. The blocks fell! Exclamation point. Deb and Joan had fun. All right. There's our friends, Deb and Joan. The blocks fell! Exclamation point. We had to read that. The blocks fell. And I've heard some of us say that when we're playing and we build something and it all falls down. They all fell! We see that with excitement. All right, so let's think back through our story. How many blocks did Deb have, boys and girls? Yep, she had five. Joan had five. Good job. And we already said five plus five makes ten. Remember, it's a math problem. They just use words instead of numbers. What did they do with the blocks in our story? They stack them, just like you've done before. And then, of course, we know what happened to them. They fell. All right? So if you read through all that, boys and girls, you came to the end of book three. So next time, I know you're going to be ready to look at book four. You've probably already practiced through it, and that is great. Mom and Dad, uh, keep book three handy. I do not need the readers returned. These are great to have um, just to keep for extra practice to go back and review through. Sometimes it gets, you know, they read them a lot. They might start memorizing them a little. We want to make sure that they're actually reading, working on that fluency, fluency reading just like we would be talking. Um, and that just, of course, takes practice. And uh, practice, boys and girls, you can tell mom and dad, what do we say? Practice makes progress, all right? And that's what we want to do is practice. If we want to be a good reader, we have to practice. And if that means going back, reading some of the readers we've already done before, that is okay. Go back to even I Do Read Book 2 if you need to, just for a little practice. Um, that's all right to do that. We'll see plenty of words when we move on to our new reader. All right. Well, today, boys and girls, I'm going to try this again where we're looking up at the dry erase board. Now, today... I have put two, and I know this is kind of hard to see, CL CLA and BL BLA on the dry erase board. All right, so what I thought we would try to do today is I'm going to say a word, and I want you to tell me 
Am I going to put it under BL blah or CL club? All right, and you can just kind of, you don't have to scream it out to the video, but you can say it out loud to the video. So if I took the word club, 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 is that a cl club, a CL or BL? All right, hopefully you're saying CL, club, club. And I know that's backwards on that, boys and girls, if you can kind of just see that club, okay? So hopefully you were saying to the video, club, club, CL. All right, let's try another one. We had this story in our reader today, block, blah, blah, blah. Is that a BL or is that a CL? Blah, block. All right, hopefully you're saying to the video, Block, BL. We saw that in our reader today. Deb and Joan were playing with the blocks. All right, let's try another one. Cluck, cluck, clock. Clock, BL or CL, clock. All right, we should be saying CL. So that we have cl, so far, club and clock. All right, let's try another one. Oh, a color word. We learned this one. We know how to spell this one. Blah, blah, black. Remember our color black? B-L-A-C-K, 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 and black is our color. I'm even saying the letter, so you should be saying B-L, of course. Block and black. Blah. All right, let's try another one. Cluck, 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 clean. Is that going to be BL or CL? Cluck, cluck. You should be saying CL to the video. Clean. Whoops. Make sure I get on the right side. Cluck, club, clock, clean. And blah, blah, blah. Blend, blah. I bet you guys knew that was BL. All right, so let's see what we ended up on our cl club clock clean and our BL block black and blend. Boy, I have to be careful. Block and black look almost the same. Look at that. The only difference is O, A, A, A. Sorry about that. I know it's hard to see it backwards like that, but hopefully you can see those letters and hear those sounds. All right. Uh, today, boys and girls, if you look at your phonics page, 145, mom and dad, you'll see that yellow, which this would have been a graded page for the grade book. But of course, um, I'm going to let you work with them. Or if you want to see how they're doing and how they're kind of working on it, uh, let them do it independently, and you can kind of give you an idea of if they're catching on and doing what they need to be doing. Um, I'll let you make that decision. If you feel like they're catching on fine and you um, want to just work with them, that's fine. Or if you want to see how they do it on their own. Again, we always use pencil, first and last name when there's a page, marking the vowels. But um, we'd also read through these. So even though it says mark the vowels, we also want to make sure that they can read the words. So mark them and then go back and make sure they're reading. Again, just practice, 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 marking and reading. Um, make sure we're reading, not just marking on those. Down here, it would be writing the blend, the two sounds you hear at the beginning. Uh, B, two letters at the beginning of B, E, P, N, D, uh, two letters at the beginning. Um, and then matching up. Stamp, fries, truck, and that's a plate. So again, mom and dad, either do it with them if you want to for extra practice or if you want to let them do, do, do it and see how they're doing, that's fine too. All right. So again, boys and girls, next time we'll look at our next new reader. And if you want to go ahead and start looking up, that's great. Uh, do your best on that. Make sure you're working hard for mom and dad. Make sure you're trying your best. And um, I know you'll do a great job.